If you work remotely from Nigeria, Pionia is still the best way to receive international payments from clients or platforms like Upwork, Fiverr, Amazon KDP, ClickBank, basically anywhere you need a foreign bank account to get your money. With Pionia, you can create bank accounts in multiple currencies, including the US dollars, British pounds, euros, Canadian dollars, and many more. Anytime you make money in dollars, for instance, you can conveniently receive your earnings to your Pioneer account and then proceed to withdraw it to your Nigerian bank account. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create and verify your own Pioneer account, get your account details and start receiving your hard earned money without any issues. Check the description of this video. You will see my special Pioneer link. And if you sign up with that link, you will get a $50 bonus when you receive up to $1,000 with your Pioneer account. So go to emmanueladam.com slash Pioneer or just click the first link below this video and that will bring you over to the sign up page and here you will see sign up and end $50. Just go ahead and click on sign up. The first step is to enter your personal details. So here where it says is your business registered. I'm going to select no, but if your business is registered, you have all the proper documents and you would like to create a Pioneer account for your business, you have the option to go with the business account, but for just individual account, just select no, my business is not registered. Then right here, enter your first name, last name, email address, re-enter the email address, enter your date of birth, and then click next. For the next step, this is where you get to enter your contact details. So select your country of residence, which is Nigeria for me, then enter your street address. If the correct address shows up automatically, you can select it. If not, you can enter your address manually. I'll just go ahead and select my address. If you go with the manual option, you will need to enter your city and postal code manually. And you can just check Google to get your postal code. Let's say if you stay at Ikeja, you can just go to Google, search Ikeja postal code, and Google will show you different postal codes that you can use in your area. You can just copy one of these, then come over and add it as your postal code. After entering your street address, the next step is to enter your phone number, then click on send code. A verification code will be sent to your phone number, which you are going to enter right here. With all of this in place, just go ahead and click on next. The third step is where you enter your password, set a security question, answer the question, enter your ID details. So select the country of your ID, the ID type you want to use. If you select national ID, you just need to enter your NIN, or if you select driving license, you enter your ID number and the expiration date. Or if you go with the passport option, you will need to enter your ID number, date of issue, and date of expiration. The easiest method is national ID, so that you can just enter your NIN, which is very easy. If you want Pioneer to approve your account, you need to make sure that the name you entered at the first step is the same as the name you have on your ID. That way, you will not have any issues with your account. And with all of this in place, just go ahead and click on next. And that will bring you to the final step where you add your bank account for withdrawals. So anytime you get money to your Pioneer account, where do you want to withdraw the money to? So you can select if it's a personal account or a business account. I'll just select personal account. Then select the bank country. The bank does not have to be in Nigeria. But let's say the bank I want to withdraw to is my Nigerian bank account. I'll select Nigeria as the bank country. Then currency, I'll use NGN. But if you have a DOM account, you can select USD or Euros depending on the currency of your account. So I'll just use NGN, which is Naira, and then select the bank name. Then for the account holder name, you need to make sure that the name on your account match the name that you entered on Pioneer because Pioneer is going to automatically use the name you entered as step one as the account holder name for your bank account. Then you can just go ahead and enter your account number. And with all of this in place, check here to agree to the terms and conditions. Check here also to agree to pricing and fees, and then go ahead and click submit. Congratulations, your Pioneer account application has been submitted successfully. 
and it's not being reviewed. While you are waiting for Pioneer to do their review, check your email inbox. You are going to see an email from Pioneer that you will use to verify your email address. So just open the email, then click verify my email. And with that, you've successfully verified your email address on Pioneer. And in just a few minutes, Pioneer is going to approve your account. So if you check your email again, you get a notification like this. We are happy to let you know that we've approved your application for a Pioneer account. So to log into your new account, just click on sign in, enter your email address and password, then click on sign in. To secure your account, I'll just turn on two-factor authentication. A verification code will be sent to your phone number once in a while when you want to log into your Pioneer account. Here, I'm going to update security settings. Right here, you will need to enter three different security questions and their respective answers. And once you are done, just go ahead and click on change. Once again, enter the code sent to your phone number and then click submit. Here, I'm going to click done. You are all set up, so just click let's go. Now, this is exactly what your new Pioneer account will look like. For a start, you can receive payments in USD, Euros, and British pounds. And the way you are going to work with this is to connect your Pioneer account to maybe your Opoc account or your Fiverr account, anywhere you need to receive payments from, and the payment will be sent directly from that platform to your Pioneer account. And you will need to start with this method because right now, Pioneer does not give account details to new account. To get your actual account details, you need to receive up to $50 to your Pioneer account before you can get account details for USD, Euros, and Pounds. So for instance, if you click on get account details, you see that for new account, you need to earn another 50 USD or equivalent in other currencies to become eligible to request your first receiving account. Let's say if I click check my eligibility, you see the amount you need to earn to get accounts in all these different currencies. So for instance, let's say you work with Upwork. Let me show you how you can connect your Pioneer account to your Upwork account so that you can start using it to receive payments even without having all those account details. So what you want to do is to log in to your Upwork profile, click on profile settings, then go to get paid. Here you will see the option to add a withdrawal method. So click on add a method and then select Pioneer as the withdrawal method. Click on setup, click continue. Upwork will try to tell you to create a new Pioneer account, but since you already have a Pioneer account, just click here where it says already have a Pioneer account, click here, enter your email address and password, then click sign in. And as simple as that, you've successfully connected your Pioneer account to your Upwork account. Here, you can set up how you want to withdraw your money. You can go with quarterly, monthly, twice a month, or weekly. Then the minimum withdrawal amount, reserve balance, and once you have all of these the way you want it, you can just go ahead and click on next. And now you can see that I have Pioneer as a withdrawal method on my Upwork account. And you can do something similar on other platforms like Fiverr and the rest. This way, anytime you complete a job on Upwork, Upwork will send the money to your Pioneer account. And then you can proceed to withdraw it to your Nigerian bank account. And by the time you receive up to $50 on Pioneer, you'll be able to request for the full details for all those different currencies. Let me show you what a working Pioneer account will look like. So I'll just go ahead and log into my Pioneer account. So right now I am inside my Pioneer account. And if I click on the USD account, then click view info, you see all the information in my account, the bank name, bank address, routing number, account number, account type, and beneficiary name. These are basically all the information you need to receive wire transfers or ACH payments. And you can see that I also have a dollar card, which I use to make payments online. And if we go to get paid, click receiving account, you'll see that I have seven different accounts based in the UAE, Australia, Canada, Europe, UK, Japan, 
and the USA. So once you receive up to the required amount, it is very easy to create accounts in all these different currencies on Pioneer. Finally, let me show you how you can withdraw money from your Pioneer account to your Nigerian bank account. What you want to do is to come over to withdraw and convert, select withdraw to bank, click withdraw now, or you can schedule a withdrawal for later, but I'll just select withdraw now, then click on next, select the account you want to withdraw from. I have some money in my USD balance, so I'll just select USD, then select the bank you would like to withdraw your money to, enter the amount you want to withdraw. Let's say I want to withdraw $100. This is the amount I'll get in error. Then you can just go ahead and click on review. The money will arrive in my bank account before the end of today. And once you have all of this in place, you can just go ahead and click withdraw and the money will be sent to your bank account. But I have a better way of withdrawing money from Pioneer to my Nigerian bank account. This method that I'm talking about is faster and always gives me the best rate. And you can click on this video to see the method I'm talking about if you want to get the best value for your money anytime you withdraw from Pioneer to your Nigerian bank account. The method you should use is in this video. So you can go ahead and check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.